Back in November 2023, I attended the gallery opening of Moments in Time by Laura Johansson. Here Dick Van Dyke was the focus of these photographs. We came to his Q&A and he told such amazing stories, ranging from Disney stories to other points of his career. It was amazing to see a legend. When I was a kid, I loved Laurel and Hardy and Buster Keaton. They, went out, they were on on Saturday. My mom had to come and get me. I just loved them. So when I first got to California, the one thing I wanted to do was meet them. And I looked and looked and looked. One day, I was looking up a phone number in the Santa Monica phone and there, it, Stan Laurel, it said. And I called up and he said, hello. <laughs> And I told him who I, my show was on, so he, he knew who I was. He invited me up to his apartment, and I got to sit and meet him. He said, hello, Dickie. <laughs> I had pictures of us together. And he said if they ever made a movie of his life, I could do it. And we became friends. But I, we did roll on Hardy once on the, on the Bad Night Show, and he wouldn't come down and coach me. He had had a slight limp or something. He didn't want to be seen in public. But anyway, after I did it, I called him up. I said, what do you think? And he gave me a list of mistakes. <laughs> First of all, he, he used uh, paper clips for cufflinks, and he took the, the uh, heels off the shoes to give him that funny stance. I forget everything I did wrong. <laughs> and then finally, I, was, I found out where Buster Keaton lived. And I went to his house and knocked on the door. And he had a very young wife. <laughs> and she invited me in, and we sat and talked, and I kept seeing Buster walking around uh, out in the yard. And I said, is he coming in? He said, she's, he's very shy. He'll be along. All of a sudden, he walked in, he had on his flat hat and a ukulele. He was saying, oh, Mr. Moon, Moon, Caroline, the moon, won't you shine on me tonight? And we became friends after that. He had a, a picnic table out in the back of his yard. And out, he had a railroad that ran along the fence. And he made the hot dogs in his kitchen. And he goes, doo, doo, and the train <laughs> He was that cute a guy. I got to do the eulogy at both of their funerals. I'm very proud of that. The family asked me. But I just adored those guys. I think I was born too late. I should have been born in the old day. I love the sign-up movies. I never got to meet Charlie Chaplin, but somebody who was a friend of his sent me a letter in which Charlie says somewhere, in it, he said, have you seen Dick Van Dyke? It's pasted on my bedroom wall. He, I never got to meet him. Mr. Master of Physical Comedy. Yeah, and did you, were you inspired by Charlie? Oh, uh, yeah. What are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, your, your physical comedy that you have, what, what has inspired you? Or what, did you just naturally that? was that? mostly from Buster. I watched Buster Keaton move. When I was a little kid, I was practicing falling. Like, he did the best falls. About how you convinced Walt Disney to let you play the banker. I think the audience would love to hear about that. Yeah. Yes. I had to go to, I went to Walt Disney before Papa's and asked him if I could play the old banker. And I had to do a screen test. I paid him $4,000. Can you believe that? The old, but I had to do a screen test. So I made myself up and stood in front of what was the bank's house and did an old man as best I could. But I think what sold him, I went over to the end and pretended to pee in the bushes. <laughs> It, it killed Walt. <laughs> I think that got me the part. <laughs> one of my favorite photographs I saw was this one of Dick Van Dyke making rather a silly face with the Stan Laurel look-alike statue. People really got into the spirit by even dressing up as Mary Poppins look-alikes. And look at here. Why? It's a vintage looking car. I was able to get a snapshot by it right here. These people were definitely doing a homage to Che Che Bang Bang. I unfortunately wasn't able to meet him, but I was able to see him drive away. Looky here.
God love Dick Van Dyke. The joy of living is loving and giving. You'll be there when the winning dice are tossed. A smile is just a frown that's turned upside down. So smile on that frown or defrost. And don't forget to keep your fingers of chalk for doo doo.